Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Alternate M Episode Phase On. Potentially the last episode actually. In this episode we're gonna take on the Valkyrie 11 and most likely clear out the game. In the last episode we got the all-powerful Phase On beam. So let's storm the gates. I guess we gotta kill these dudes. So blast them away with your powerful gun. I'm using my headphones right now because I'm in a chat with Arky. Just have it deafened so I can do this. And it's a good thing to do while I wait for the Grand Prix to download for CTR. The new... Rustland Grand Prix, whatever it's gonna be called. Right, you need to uh, supplies, you can blast this thing repeatedly. It has a lot more health than enemies than normal. Yeah, look how much that took. But it did fill us all up to max, so it was worth it. Alrighty, in this room to the right we have a save point, but if you head a little to the left, you'll see a giant board in the background. Now this board will show you the locations of all the Valkyrie door keys. If none of them are lit, you have everything, so we can enter this door. This looks a little suspicious, and it is. Just look at that. We've lost our phase on being a return to sadness. I don't like sadness. So what we're going to do is get on our Dark Echo Spacer combo. And then we're going to head on in. Now there's a good reason they do this, and don't worry, we will get our phase on beam back. Because we have X Parasites in here. I think they only take four missiles to kill. One, two, three, four. Oh, five. Alright. I would suggest just using your regular missiles, though. I don't think they really tend to drop phase on missiles like regular Metroids do. Besides, if they don't drop as many missiles as you need, you can always get the fill up right at the last room. Now this is going to take a little bit, sadly. Because there's a lot to go through before we get to the end. Also, this is different. These beams never flashed before. They were just kind of static and red. But now they flash. And By the way, we have to kill everything in all these rooms, not just the Core X Metroids. Boop. They're no threat to us. No threat to Doc Samus. I was failing there. Alrighty. Now, in the original, there was a energy tank here to the right we could get, but we aren't getting this for a while now. A little while, at least. Because they've changed it. Do you remember when I said the green frequency is our second to last frequency? Well, yeah, they've added one more frequency to this place. Well, they've added a new frequency, and it's this place exclusive. Which, in my opinion, is really stupid. Just let us get the damn energy tank. I love the frequency idea. It's a nice, cool new mechanic. It's more interesting than just blasting doors with beam colors. It's like you're just upgrading your gun or something. I don't know. It's just cool. But no, they thought it would be funny. And I'm not laughing. Alrighty. Come here, buddy. I'm not used to having that off. Now watch out, these guys are kind of ferocious. If they get on you, I think they're a little hard to get off. I don't know if that trait is shared from 0 0.3. Alright, use your missiles to kill these guys. You're going to be in this room forever if you don't. Like I said, there's a missile fill-up station coming up at the end of all this garbage. I don't mind killing the Metroids, but I do mind the steam bots. Thankfully, our missiles make quick, short work of them. Or quick work. That's what I started out saying, and then I just said short instead. And boom. Now, you don't have to kill them all. You can actually let the last couple live, and the door will still open. In case you're wanting to speed run. Alrighty, we got more Core X Troids. I'm gonna call them X Troids. So we got more X Troids in here. They're not nice to dock, Samus. They are meanie pants. They are butt faces. They are not holes in one. They are birdies. Alrighty. 
I didn't think we were gonna hit him, so let's go. Do, 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 do. That's what you get, boy. Yeah, here's the frequency, by the way. Orange frequency added to beam. Orange doors now accessible. Now, do not immediately head back. We'll hit that door in a little bit here. I would suggest going forward until we hit a certain spot before doing it. That specific spot will become very apparent soon enough. Hi there, buddy. You're a fudge bucket. Is this the room? No, we're not there yet, but we'll get there soon enough. I was just checking to make sure. But it's in your best interest to wait. You just need to trust your uncle on this one. Just because I'm dark doesn't mean I'm evil. It's how you use that power. Now right, we got more steam bots in this room. They take more, I think they take more hits, it doesn't matter, but I think they do less damage to us. Just blast away with your super missile, well, missiles. Right, they changed, there were super missiles in the original. 0.3. Now they're just regular missiles that look like super missiles. With red caps. Yeah, this place is gonna eat away at your ammo, so I hope you've been collecting. See, that's why I'm only a little. I have some complaints about this game. Probably nitpicks, but I'll share them, you know, just for, in case you guys wanna hear it. Anyways, now we're gonna go get that, you know what, that energy tank, because now it is, it is at our most convenient. Yeah, make sure you don't fall all the way down. Kind of got lucky there. And let's head back to the right. Don't worry, these rooms stay completely clear of enemies. So all you have to do is go back through it. Alright, let's go through the door, and I want you to do me a favor and get through here as fast as you can. Because, uh-oh, some gas of some sort killing dog Samus. Maybe it's some, like, anti-Metroid gas? Who knows? Whatever it is, it's killing us. And that's not good for our health. We don't need our daily dose of death. Anyways, if you know where the last en en the energy tank I missed was, this would be your final energy tank in the game. But, for some reason, the one I wanted to get is missing. And no one seems to have addressed that. That it's not there. He did release a recent patch, but nothing mentions him fixing that energy tank. And no one seems to know where it is. So yeah, I don't know where we can find that. Anyways, with that energy tank in hand, we don't want to go that way. We want to go back down and to the left. So drop on down. Now watch out for the beams. The security beams of doom. And let's go back through that orange, that red door we opened up. Xander's trying to bust in. Sorry, Xander, not right now. I'm a little busy. And I don't need interruptions. Alrighty, we're almost through this place. Just a little more, guys, I promise. And then we'll be done. Well, hi there, Tex. Nice try. Your eggs are spoiled and Dark Samus wants none of that. You can take your spoiled eggs and shove it up your ass. Yeah, there's a lot of these dudes in here, but thankfully they'll fill us up. That's probably why they're here, because Red Monkey knew you'd go for that E-Tank. Or want to find out what's behind that door. Regardless, we're almost full on delicious energy. This is the last room. Alright, we've made it. And yeah, don't go down, that would be really stupid. Hey, did I miss a Metroid? An Extroid? Alright, just making sure. I don't want to go forward and find out. Ooh, you made an oopsie. And. Alright, there's an Extroid. X those parasites. X those parasites. Screw those parasites. Literally. With the screw attack. Come here, baby. Oh yeah, you like that, don't you? You like getting screwed. Alright, that door to our left is going to be where we go first. Because that's the missile recharge station I've been so hyping up. 
A yeah, nice try. Yeah, unlike the little sucky dudes from Super Metroid, those ones will pretty much hit you instantly. Instead of sucking on you for a moment, then doing damage. So make sure you're screwing attack, screw attacking when you're nearby them. And that's it. It's every enemy here, at least all the Xtroids. Now the Valkyrie 11 is nice and clean. Alrighty, before moving forward, make sure you hit this room. Because you want all your missiles back. It would be undelicious if you didn't. Yeah, it kind of sucks I can't get true 100% completion, but that energy tank is gone. It's missing for some reason. I doubt he would move to somewhere super convoluted and hidden, not just to be dumb. Anyways, missile battery, there's two more left actually. Alrighty. Hey, it's one of those gates again. So walk through it. Alright, watch out. We got some bad dudes in here. So I'm going slow. Boop. You want to, you know, screw attack him. Anyways, once you walk over that Phazon patch, look at that. We got our delicious Phazon beam back. Alright, watch out. I hope you got the Phazon beam, because this little thing here is tough. But if you have the Phazon beam, it shouldn't take us long to kill him. Yeah, look how much abuse he took from it. This is the strongest beam in the game. It's the strongest thing you can use in the game, actually. Aside from your screw attack, though. But that doesn't hurt bosses. So, yeah. Alrighty, make sure you head up this way, because... We got another missile battery. Only one left in the game to collect. Whee! I didn't mean to fall down, but whatever. <laughs> Come on, Dark Samus, get up. Well, let's go through this door, because the last item of the game is in this room. There's a refill container right here if you need it. We don't need it right now. But I think he changed it. No, he didn't. Now we got some Phazon canisters down here. Don't shoot them, they'll blow up. Now let me take a look at this pack. Yeah, it is different. It's a little fatter and bigger. Hmm. There's with that super expansion, bam! We now have all missiles, all energy tanks, all reserve tanks, all phase on missiles, all power bombs in the game. We have maximum percentage. Come on, give me that power bomb. It's gonna bug me until I do. And there you go, there's your proof. So, let's head up, and let's go get ready to fight the final boss. As you can see, there's black around that door. You know what that means, kitties. So, before you do that, I would suggest going up here to save. Because you'll want to see your delicious little save file completed. And this is the only save slot you get for this reality. Save slot 2 is something else, and slot 3 is broken. Because it's definitely nowhere near even started. So once you're ready, head on through the door. To get bombarded by these things. Ooh. Yeah, we got some Zebatites in here and those annoying security rinkas and beams. I was trying to save health, you tools. Ouch. Bastards. They're hurting Dark Samus. And pain is never good. And I'm just kind of tanking it at this point. There's a lot of way to freeze those Rinkas, I can't just cut I can't fight them like I normally would. Alrighty. Boop. Boop. But that was a phase on missile shit. I didn't mean to do that, kids. Alright, let's move onwards. I was trying to save as many missiles as I could, so I could fill them up by the end of the game. No, steel made us stupid. Didn't pay attention. And we got the boss, so who's it gonna be? Uh-oh. This looks familiar. You know who it is, boys. Yep. It's a reskin of her. So what you want to do is just screw attack here until she appears. You'll know because the music will get ready about... Now. Hi there. She wants to say hi. So just blast her with your phase on beam. Bam, look at that. That's disgusting. 
It gave me my phase on missile back. I did not want to use this. Nice. Alrighty, now once she's defeated, suddenly explosions! Because reasons, I guess. The Valkyrie 11 begins to go boom boom. And no, not the Super Mario enemy. Didn't mean to get hit by that pirate. And don't you dare shoot me, bro. I don't like death. Definitely don't like pain either. Alright, just make your way through and drop through this door. And make sure you don't move. At least once you reach this screen. And start heading down. Ooh, ominous music, a red haze, and we're falling back down to the planet. Alrighty, welcome to the real final boss. Well, unlike 0.2, yeah, as you can see, the music has definitely changed. And so is his roar. Ah, Jesus, I cannot get in the air to heal up a little bit. It's Riddle Dog, a reskin of him at least. Get away from me, you fudge packer. Yeah, we don't have that little door cap to play around on this time. He fixed that, finally. His red, red monkey's smart. He saw the Let's Play videos and said, no, no cheating. Ah, Jesus, your tail is such a prick. All because I'm trying to play smart and save hell. Asshole. God, his tail is annoying. I'm trying to fill my health up. Yeah, if I had not gotten hit so much, I could have filled my missiles up to max. And ended with max percentage. I don't know, I've always wanted to do that, but I can't. Whatever. Anyways, this planet isn't exploding, but there is music playing. Because if you look in the background, there's a beam of death shooting towards this planet. I don't know why there's a beam of death, but there's a beam of death. Also, you remember this? Look at that, we're back in the phase on mines. And wherever that ship was, I guess ours wasn't good enough, so we're just gonna steal this one. With that planet phase explodes, even though it looked like Zeb's. Must have been one hell of a bomb, I guess, or a beam. And ugliness. The operation was completed successfully. Clear time? Two hours and fifty-two minutes. Not bad for a second playthrough. Anyways, let me turn this down a little bit. So I want to get my thoughts out. So what do I think of the game? Well, guys, which do I prefer? I'm going to have to say I prefer 0.3 over 0. No, I'm just kidding. I prefer 0. 0.4 over 3. Though, to be honest, 0. 0.3 is still an excellent made game, and they're both very fun to play. 0. 0.4 adds a bunch of new little things that add up to a fresh experience in the end and I think it's very worth your time to check out and see the new graphics, the new little tweaks to rooms and stuff like that. So yes, I could very recommend you guys playing this. It's, it's a lot of fun. And slot 2 is just a demo right now, hence why I didn't play it. No one on the Metconst forum seemed to get that memo, and everyone thinks it's a buggy garbage mess. It's like, wow, are you serious? But. Ah, it was a lot of fun coming back to Let's Play again, especially getting to play something I'd been waiting for for so long. Even though it wasn't as great as I thought it was going to be, it was still pretty awesome. And there's still a hell of a lot more work to be done, because he's working on 0.5 now, which is going to be that second save slot, most likely. Hopefully he sees this and he fixes that missing energy tank, or maybe it was somewhere else, I have no idea. 
I pretty much fully explored the game there and got everything. But I think it's just a missing tank. I feel like it was supposed to be there. Whatever. So what did you guys think? Did you think the 0 0.4 is better, or do you think 0 0.3 is better? I think they're both great games worth your time. Ah. Classic credits. I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments. And I'm sorry about the sloppiness. There were some bad volume issues throughout the LP, I think. Spent most of it just trying to get things straight. But go easy on me, it's been a long time. But I'm back. And I'm black. Now we suddenly gravity suit Samus. Don't worry, when the suit gets taken off, no one is home. And then it turns into Phazon Samus, Stark Samus. Anyways, our clear percentage should be 99%. Your rate for collecting items is 97%. What? Okay, there's definitely something buggy about this game. As I literally missed one energy tank and nothing else. And then someone will eventually comment one day saying, Hey, there's 250 missiles now. Son of a bitch. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next Let's Play. Take care.